For the zipper panel, you're going to take your two rectangles that your instructions told you to cut approximately two inches by 13 and a half. I'm using scraps, so you know mine look a little funny, but you were to have folded them in half and pressed them. That was in an earlier tutorial. Once you've done that, go ahead and pin it onto the zipper. And of course you need your zipper. So this is called the zipper tape right here. We're gonna pin with the fold next to the zipper. This would be called an exposed zipper installation because you can see the teeth. So I'm going to just pin that in place. These pins will come out as I approach. And I'm going to tell you when you do a zipper application, you will always start in the same on the same end. So I'm going to start at the top. That means I'm going to sew from the top down. Then I'm going to come back and sew from the top down. I cannot go down and then up. Um, and that's because of the feed dog. So that's just a rule. And sometimes I like to break rules, but not that one. So now I'm going to start. And um, if your Treadle machine, treadle machine will let you move your needle over. Go ahead and move it over to the left if you can. I can't do that on this machine, it's not an option. But I still have plenty of space on this zipper tape, so um, I'm just gonna work my way down, take the pins out as I go. So you'll also notice that I have the heads here and the tip of the pin there so that I can pull it out. Otherwise, I'd be pulling into the foot, and that doesn't work really well. So, there really isn't an easier zipper installation than this. No need to backstitch. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. And you'll see, I'm, um, I guess I'm using eight inches eight stitches to the inch. I definitely wouldn't use a tiny stitch here if I could help it, just because it doesn't look as pleasing as a relaxed stitch. You see how that bubble is happening? And that's why I was talking about why we always want to start on the same end because the bubble will travel the same way on both sides. Um, and you'll see these ends will even out. It's just a behavior, kind of a combination between the pressure that this is making on the foot and those feed dogs underneath. Once you get used to that, you know how to make it work to your advantage. So, Meanwhile, you'll have to trust what I tell you. So we came up. Now this is actually going to be installed on our bag right here. So if you think back to the original video where I show the zipper, that's going to be there. Now I just want to take a quick minute at the end of this video to show you, we've talked about this gap piece that we're going to be, you need to cut out. And that is filling in this gap right here, all right? And um, that, I've got a piece, we'll, we'll um, give you some uh, basic instruction in the description to this video, but you, you want it to be the same width as this once this is sewn. So I will lay this on here like so, and I will cut it. And I just, in our instructions, tell you to do the same thing. Go ahead and make it plenty long, because then once we are ready to uh, close that gap, I'm hoping we can do it with just this one piece. It'll sort of behave as a exterior fabric and an interior fabric. So you can see, for example, right now I can go ahead I just folded it in half. Yeah, I was checking my print to make sure I like it. I'm gonna stitch across the bottom. Once we've done this, we have our zipper panel ready for the next step. So I'm gonna do a little back stitching right here at the base of the um, zipper. Now the machine's not too happy about going over this. You see, it's um, really not happy. 
And that's because we've got a lot of um, thickness going on and we also have, uh, there's a bead on the inside lip of that zipper tape. Um, so uh, you'll see, zoom in here and see, I've got um, some thread shred shredding. Let me show you, you can see that. So that shredded because as it was going through the zipper tape, the tape will actually cut your thread. So I'm just gonna have to stop and re-thread. And my process will be to come across here and secure the end, and then that's the end of having this piece ready.